it works on and has benefits outside of just flexion extension of the wrist. And I actually encourage you to do this. One of the questions is, um, because I see that the modus hand only extend, only do the extension at the flexion on the wrist. So one of the questions is, is that the only motion that we are looking for with this? Because I need a lot of motion in the fingers, also in the hand. I don't have rotation in the hand. And sure. I, I wonder if that helps in any way, because I just see inflation and extension of the wrist. Yeah, Ola, this is a good question. And I think um, I've mentioned this many times before on, on, on previous assessments and we have power hours. So I would encourage you to look through those, those, those backlogs of, of answers. But to, to give you an answer right here, um, uh, the, the answer is very clear. It works on, it has benefits outside of just flexion extension of the wrist. And I would actually encourage you to do this. So the muscles that control your fingers are exactly the same muscles that actually control our wrist, okay? So what happens is you can imagine like there's four kind of pulleys that are about our elbow here that when they work together, they actually extend our wrist. But you can control them individually and they can control our fingers. So when you get a chance, go ahead and put um, on one of your hands or one of your elbows, put your hand, and I'd encourage you to go up into extension. You'll feel those muscles contract, and then you can wiggle your fingers like this. And you'll feel those exact same muscles contract. So those things are one and the same. And this is just a quick explanation of why we see improvements in fine motor skills. And so we do see improvements in those capabilities for um, sort of what are called off sagittal movements, things like fine motor skills, rotation, and those sort of things. Um, so we do see those improvements, even though we are focused on this um, sort of um, flexion extension movement is opening and closing of the hand. So, and that is in the clinical trials that we've run over the past, I don't know, 15 years or so. So that's very um, regular um, uh, benefits that we see. Um, so no worries there, but in terms of the, you know, the rotational elements, we also see improvements in functional tasks that require that. So things like being able to pick up a can of soda and drink being able to fold a towel, all those sort of things require sort of multi-dimensional control of our wrist and our hands. So um, we do see improvements there. Um, and then also the other question was, does it only work on extension? Um, no, it's not just wrist extension. It also works on wrist flexion as well. Um, and the movements that I was talking about before. And in terms of um, other tasks, it's also working on strengthening you as well as working on your fine motor skills, right? Because the way we can change the way that it's interacting with you and the virtual environment, the activities you're playing, we can um, encourage you to work on fine control of activities. And so we do have the ability to help with a, a wide variety of, of tasks and capabilities.